I said it once and I'll say it again, okay? I think, okay, that the DOJ, the Department of Justice, should focus all of their investigations and all of their energy into Gary Gensler in the SEC. Forget about Ken Griffin, forget about Melvin, forget about Citadel, focus on Gary Gensler. All roads lead back to him. That's what I feel. I said it once and I said it again because the commercial that he put out is, I hate to say it, makes me believe without a shadow of a doubt that he is either allegedly on Citadel's payroll, you know, just like remember Janet Yellen, how she's getting paid for all of her uh, speeches, 200,000 there, 300,000 there, all paid by Citadel. There's something up with Gary Gensler. This is alleged. This is my opinion. But when you put out a commercial like that, it's like you're basically telling, I mean, you talk about market manipulation. You're basically telling, okay, people that anyone that invests in meme, meme stocks are idiots, are dumb, are stupid. I mean, it, is it that like, you know, you talk about stock manipulation. Is it that manipulation to do something like that? What right do you have? This is a free country. Okay, we live in America, okay? If I want to invest in something, that's my choice. Now, I know you're going to say, well, freedom of speech and all of that stuff, right? But how come we can't do it then, right? It's like, it seems like we live in this world where it seems like rules only apply to the 1%. That's it. Rules only apply to the 1%. And that's why I don't care about rules. You want to know the truth? That's why when the eight father makes videos, I'm not afraid of lawsuits. I'm not afraid of, of, you know, being sued. I'm not afraid of anything because I'm so angry with this corrupt system. I call things out when I see it. And I'm going to call this out right now. Everything Gary Gensler that you're doing is making yourself look guilty. That's it, to the, to, at least to the eight father. You look like you're either on Citadel's payroll. This is how you're coming across. You look like you're part of the manipulation. You're part of the problem. Okay, now you're supposed to be the police. Okay, you're supposed to be the one who's protecting the best interest of the retail investor. But you're making yourself appear that not only you are, are you against the retail investor, you're on the side of the 1%. You're on the side of the hedge funds. Now everyone's going to be like, no kidding, Paul, we all know this. I know we all know this, but he's not supposed to make it look so obvious. He's he's blatantly making it obvious. Like he's There's like no holds barred here. It's like he's not hiding it. He's not pretending to care. He's coming right in our face saying F you okay retail investors that's what he's doing all right and that is just completely a disgrace I can't believe that this is this is supposed to be the SEC you're supposed to have our best interest and instead you're basically making making a mockery out of millions and millions of retail investors man this is why I wanted to protest you see what I'm saying you got to let these son of a bitches know that we're no nonsense, that we mean business. But you know what it is? Only Billy came to the protest. Only Billy. That's <laughs> it. You know what can I do? I'm a one-man army. I'll keep fighting. Now I'm going to push myself to do a tremendous amount of videos because I really have to get to my one million video goal because I have to do something about this. Uh, you want to protest with me? Let me know. I'm in. Let me know. I'll go right to I'll go anywhere. You want to, you want to go to Washington? Where do you want to go? I'm in. Because this is complete bullshit this is complete nonsense what they're doing and they have to stop this we have to we have to stop them we cannot let them get away with this they're laughing in our face they're making a mockery a joke out of us i don't know what else to say